Morning all, hope you're well. Um, I thought it was uh, been a little while since I've done a video. Saturday morning, it's absolutely lovely. So before work, I thought, you know what? Make myself a coffee. I'm uh, motivated today. I've just seen Lee's video, um, Black Mountain Adventures, out for an overnight at Lee. I'm jealous of where you are, mate. I'm definitely gonna come and see you next year if that's okay. But in the meantime, as I said, let's do a brew. Right, so I've got meths. And this is a still pot, it's from the Bushcraft store. 750 millilitres. What I do like about it, it's got its own little container, so this you turn it upside down and have a wood fire underneath the flames come up sit the pot on top of it which is cracking or as i'm going to use it today turn it the other way and then a pot stove empty at the moment so I'm just going to fill that up probably half to two thirds full see bits snugly inside hopefully you can see that so what I'm then gonna do get these crosshairs for the tragedy of stove, literally slide together. And they fit snugly on the stove like that, which is excellent. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna light it first, get it going. So with meths, it's very hard to see if, um, if it's been lit initially, once it starts to bloom. One thing that you can do, put your hand over the top, and if you can feel the heat, it's lit. So at the moment it's not. Let's try it again. There we go. That's better. Yeah, you can feel the heat there. Hairs on. Give it a moment or so to bloom. Yeah, you can certainly feel that. It's absolutely snugly into the unit. Lid on. So the base acts as a perfect windshield.
give you a better close up. So there's the pot. Take that off quickly. And there you go. Corsairs in the windshield and a little trans stove. Back on there. And get my brew going. So the handles here fold round, holder there, in case you've got a stick or something through there over a fire. And a lot of people don't know this, but the little metal tag here goes down. But if you can see, there's a little slot just there, carved out in a lot of these lids. So if you bring it up and just move the triangle down a bit, it holds. So it keeps it away from the lid, makes it um, cooler to take the lid off. To avoid burning fingers, as I said, Cracking bit of kit from the bushcraft store. I'm not linked to them in any way. But just a good review for a good bit of kit. And also, you can see the uh, external fill lines. I said the pot uh, can hold 750ml fluid. Best thing about the fill lines, very quickly, is that you can see them on the inside as well. There we go. Put that back up. It's been going about four minutes. So we're getting there. We are getting there. So as you can see on the far side, it's just got some air vents as well. See if I can get in. You see the trans inside. So one thing with the trans here is it does take a bit longer than the pocket rocket or other stoves, but it's well worth it. But warm, there we go. Wow. Oh, as you can see, nicely to the boil. All right. Okay, let's take it off. Nothing too fancy today, just straight from the packet. Voila. There you have it. A nice morning coffee. Lovely. And I'm just going to let the change burn out. Um, hasn't got much in it. And all of this is going to be just a bit too hot to handle at the moment. Right, so that's me done. Have a great day, everyone. I'm gonna read my book. Happy days. See you later.